Hi, everybody. So we are back, and today is going to be a fun one. I don't want you to stress when I tell you what we're going to do. So just, just don't stress. Promise me, don't stress. Okay, so if, if, you, if this doesn't stress you out, that's wonderful. But if it does, don't let it, okay? Today's project is to draw a face. Draw a face. I know. You're thinking, I can't draw stick figures. Yes, you can. But even if you can't, it's okay. I am going to hold your hand through this. So we're going to start like we always do, and we're going to cover this. And I'm going to use some matte medium today because I am lazy. And it's so much faster. And I still have my ruined brush. But it's okay. All right, we're gonna spread this around. It's not spreading so well with this brush because this brush is a mess. And that's what I get for not paying attention. I'm not as entirely too much medium, but that's okay. And now I'm just gonna get this on here, spread that around a little bit. And that should be good. That should be good. If it comes up, I'll add a little bit of, of um, glue to it at the time, but I don't want to get it too wet right now because we are going to draw. I know. It's fun. Drawing is fun. Don't let it stress you out, I promise. Okay, I'm trimming this up a little bit. There we go. Get this out of the way. Now, I told you not to stress. We're not gonna stress. What we are going to do is we're going to get a, um, this is a, a Karen Dash. These are a little more expensive. You don't need this one. Um, I will link this one and the other one that I recommend, which is somewhere, I, I don't see it. Um, it's a Stabilo. And Stabilos are, I think, a little less expensive than the Karen Dash. Um, but the point is, is to get a black or brown water-soluble pencil. Um, you, you can use a regular pencil by all means. You don't have to buy this. If you have one of these, that's great. If you don't, use a regular pencil. It doesn't matter. A regular drawing pencil, a 2B, or you know, a, one of these you know, mechanical pencils, which is all I have handy. It doesn't matter. I like the water-soluble, and I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna start off with making a shape, right? Now, I don't care if you make a circle or if you make an actual, you know, like an egg shape that would be like traditionally what a face would look like. I don't care what you do. Um, you don't even have to do that at all. In fact, I, maybe we won't do that. And then if you, you can always put the shape around it and you can add hair and you can do all those things, but I'm gonna get you past the scary part. And the scary part is the face part. So we're going to, to make a super simple face. This is not gonna win us any, any awards, okay? But it's going to get us there. We're gonna start with drawing some circles. Can you, can you draw circles? They don't have to be perfect circles. In fact, they should not be perfect circles because no one has perfect circles. Okay, so we have two circles. And then we're gonna come down a little bit and we're gonna make another circle. And by the way, this does not have to be proportional. This does not have to be realistic. It does not have to be anything. It's fine. So we have three circles now. This one's just a little bit smaller than these, but it doesn't have to be. And then we're gonna drop down just a little bit and on either side, we're going to make two more circles. How's that? There we go, we have a face. I know, you may not think it looks like a face, but it is a face. This is a face. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little, a little doohickey like that, and then we're gonna come down and down. And then we're gonna come across. I dip this down just a little bit because, and then I fill that in because I want that to be darker. I want it to be darker than the bottom lip, but we're not even gonna color in the bottom lip. We're gonna drop down just a little bit and make a little curve for the shadow that is underneath the bottom lip. We're gonna leave the, we're gonna leave the bottom lip by itself, nothing. And now I'm gonna add two little, little things right there. That's it. 
Now if I want, I can add a little bit of shadow underneath here, and I can add the little whatever those things are called. And now let's get to the part that's, that's fun and scary. We're gonna go around these eyes like that. I'm gonna come down just a little bit here, right? And now I'm gonna do some eyebrows, right? I lost my circle there somehow. And now I'm gonna fill these in, kind of where the pupils will be. It doesn't matter. This does not have to be perfect, right? And let's thicken these up a little bit. I'm just scribbling, and now I have a face. That's all there is to this. It's circles. That's it, circles. Now, the reason why I said I like using the water-soluble pen, and of course, I am not going to be able to find a good, oh, there's a good brush I can use for this. I just have a little brush. And then, if I want to just, like, that's a little too wet, I can smoosh this around. I can just smoosh it around. Coming down either side of the nose, I'm gonna darken underneath the nose because you know there's a shadow there. Okay, a little more, a little more water. Now I'm gonna kind of fill in these lips here a little bit, bring them out, and now I'm gonna do this shadow and just kind of loosen that up a little bit. And now I have a face. Draw a face. We drew a face. That's it. Now, if you want to, you can come in and you can give the face some shape, right? There we go. But you don't have to. Doesn't matter. And if you want to do ears, think of the ears as coming off of this, off of where the eyeballs are. So we're going to go whoop, like that. And now I'm just scribbling. I'm putting a little bit of hair behind and in front of the ears. I, I, I'm scribbling, as you can see, scribbling. There we go, we have a face. We have a whole head. That's, it's that simple. Now that mouth is really big and I don't care. <laughs> that mouth is super big, but it's okay. We have a face, we have a face. So we have drawn a face. Oh, that mouth is just, hmm. But we're not gonna worry about it because we drew a face. The reason why I want you to be able to draw a face, and it doesn't matter how simple or how complex your face is, I want you to be able to draw a simple face because sometimes the best way to represent a person is to draw a face. And we have a lot of people in our lives that we may need to represent. There you go. There's our next one. Complete. And see how simple that was? And see how imperfect this is? I'm an artist. I do portraits for a living. And see how imperfect this is? It's okay. I want you to be imperfect. I want you to embrace the imperfections. Okay? So one more down. And here is our stack of cards. We are doing so well. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, you have a great day. And um, thank you for being so brave with this one. I know it's, I know faces drawing challenges people, but I showed you just how simple that is. Okay. Well, you take care and I will see you soon. Bye.